Hey, I'm Andy, and for this duelist video, we're going to do a boss battle. And the boss battle this week is the Skyfall Tyrant, and it says, Frozen and ageless, the Frost Tyrant abides in its glacial fortress. The Titans survived generations in the cold, kept timeless by the frigid conditions, waiting for a worthy adversary to wake it from its slumber. And I created a boss deck for this uh, Magmar, hopefully it will do the job. So, I did based on the previews, and it looked really nasty. So, let's replace... I uh, can't really replace anything. Uh, let's actually maybe the natural selection and the earth sphere for now because we need a oh we got a thunderhorn so that's good so we can just uh, it has a ranged provoke so that's a thing but we don't have any range in the deck i believe and the boss is a 235 range can't move at the start of your turn equipped a frost armor artifact all right so what can we do we can play thunderhorn next turn we'll just play a war pup uh, down here then we'll move ourselves back and we'll end our turn we got a greater fortitude, so we can actually do some frenzy stuff uh, eventually. So the frost armor is the first time your general takes damage. Prevent one of the enemies who damage your general take one damage. So it's like a mini arc light regalia. A veil hunter, one two ranged. All right, so we can flash in grove line if we wanted to, but I'm just gonna play a Maloki huntress back here just in case. And then we'll just do a Greater Fortitude on the Warp Up, and we'll just move this forward and do a Frenzy on the Gravity Well. And then we'll end our turn. And we got a Natural Selection, so it's still not going to work because there's still 0 1 walls, but we can get rid of it unless the Warp Up just dies. But there's now two Frost Armors, but uh, the, uh, the enemy follows the rules in that there is... You can only equip three artifacts a turn, so I'll be taking two damage every turn. That's going to be bad. Uh, let's see what we can do. And he's okay. So we'll have five mana and a wind strike. That's not good. But this is only range provoke, so I can still move. It's just I won't be able to get all three gravity balls. So we have to replace this natural selection. And we got an amplification, uh, friendly damage. So this is damaged. Uh, let's just do a thunderhorn back here. Where I mean, the wind strike has flying anyway, so. Uh, that's annoying. I wish I could play the- I mean, I can play the Grove Lion, so I'll just do that. I'll just do the Grove Lion back here, move myself forward, do my Bloodborn spell to kill the Wind Strike. We'll just do that. He'll draw a card, but not much I can do about that. Go forward, and then attack the- this, and then we'll end our turn. And we got an Earth Sphere, just in case we need it. And this is a 4-4, that's a 5-3. And he's gonna shoot the Loki Huntress. Okay, so I think he values that over the things, but we can we can amplification if if, if it doesn't die this turn to uh, at least heal it up a little bit. Another one strike. Okay, so let's replace the Earth Sphere for now. So we got two amplifications. We'll just move this forward, and then uh, we can amplification it up like so. And then we'll play a Thunderhorn here. I mean, we can just frenzy this again. But I mean, if I, even if I attack the general, it's going to be negated because of his three frost armor triggers. Uh, so let's just we'll, we'll just kill the wind strike again, like so, and we'll end our turn. And he mailed a Trinity out, so that's good. We got another warp up. So he keeps attacking the Maloki Hunter, so that, I mean that's his target of choice, I guess. So we're gonna replace the Warp Up, and we're gonna keep healing the Maloki Hunters. A Sapphire Seer, two two Force Field. I mean, we can we have the we still have the Warp Up, so we can do Frenzy shenanigans. So let's replace. Oh, he's, he's gonna put it there. And let's replace this Warp Up, and we got a War Beast. Alright, so if I play a War Beast and attack, uh, it's gonna remove a charge, but it's also gonna kill the War Beast, I believe. So that's not good. So I guess we can just do. Uh, let's see. Move this here. Attack the Thunder. Oh, we'll attack this with that. It's gonna attack the Sapphire here as well. We can. Attack the Sapphire Seer. This is injured, but we can amplification it up like so. 
Then we can just do a Flipborn spell. And we will use this to kill this area. So like, so like so is gonna. Yeah, we lose all this, but uh, at least the the general didn't take damage. I guess so that's why he didn't attack the warp up, or did it at the same time. I don't know. Let's just go end our turn. And we got a lava slasher. So we got a good board. We got two force fields. We can start advancing our general. He's gonna just ping this for two at each turn, so it's gonna die pretty soon. Storm Aratha. I don't know if I like that. It's a 6-5. I mean, we can Lava Slasher it, so we'll just go forward. And we'll do a Lava Slasher. And then attack it with our general to kill it. This is a 4-3, but that is what it is. Let's see if I attack the general. But, I mean, this is still gonna trigger, so... Now let's see. The first time your general takes damage, each turn prevent one of the enemies who damage your general take one damage. So this will take... Uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens. So it doesn't uh, trigger. I think it only triggers when I actually damage the general, so... Uh, we'll see what happens. So we'll end our turn. This is at 3. But it is what it is. We have an Omni Seer, so we can actually turn this into a final floor so if we needed to. Okay, so attacking the Lava Slasher. I don't know what's going on with the AI, but I think this is easy mode or something. A Skyway. That's gonna be annoying. And oh, Wolf Raven. That is also annoying. So we have to kill that. I mean, we can also kill it with the Thunderhorn, but. And oh, yeah, we can kill everything with the Thunderhorn. So the, the Staff of Akira removes one Frost Armor, so that's good. Although I can just do. I'll just. Uh, move this over here, move this over here, and then we can do a war beast. Actually, no. Oh, I messed up. Uh, so we have to do a war beast like he right here to kill the things. So unless if I sacrifice the, yeah, unless if I sacrifice things. So we'll just attack this the skyfall tire. Try to get rid of move, remove all the frost armor charges as much as we can. So, so the the lava slasher dies a horrible death. We'll do our bloodborne spell. Uh, do our blood burn spell like so. And we'll attack the general for five. And our force will absorb a thing. Or it'll absorb some charges, but we'll attack the general or we'll attack the skyway, get rid of this, and we'll take one damage because of the frost armor. But then he doesn't have any frost armor anymore, so we can attack the Thunderhorn for six. And it will just uh, attack the general for six. And then it kills everything on the board. And then we can do... And then we can do an Omni Seer here to give this space Primal Floor. Just to make it grow because of the Maloki Huntress. So, uh, yeah, we'll end our turn. I think we're we're good. And this will be a 8-4. Uh, plus 2, plus 2, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, because... I think we got we got it. Interesting boss, though. I can see why if you if you don't have a, a way to deal with that entire wall, it could be a it could be a hassle because of the range. But we'll just do we'll attack the putrid dread flare for ten, and the opponent is at four, but we do have enough for lethal in many ways. Then when we can just do a war beast and swing, we can attack with any of these. We'll just do our bloodborne spell, and then we'll swing for six. So yeah, that was a pretty interesting boss. I can see how it can be challenging if you don't have like the right deck, but I think I think getting rid of that entire wall first is the most important thing because while he does have one of the ranged provokers, he doesn't really have uh, and like the range will also die because of his frost armor trigger. So if he can get rid of the frost armors and then. Uh, just bombard away with range and that's fine, but I mean the way I did it also worked as well, but so yeah, that's how I beat the boss uh, I'll post the link I'll post the link to the deck that I used in the description down below for those that are interested I know it's not the most optimal deck in that I've made or that's out there that's that can kill the boss But uh, this it's what I've used so I think I got really lucky with the draws considering what I have in my deck so uh, yeah, I'll check. I'll link it in the description down below. You can check it out to see if you're interested in it and uh, to see if you want to make something similar to beat the boss or something like that. So, yeah, this was uh, the boss deck. 
Or it was a boss battle with the Skyfall Tyrant. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you for watching and have a nice day.